From the WRAL News and the Capital Broadcasting Podcast Network, this is your Coronavirus News Brief for Monday, April 19th. I'm Mark Boyle. As the access to COVID-19 vaccines is expanded, there are still many people who have barriers getting them and signing up. WRAL's Laura Levine takes us to an effort in Durham that's going door to door to get shots into the arms. Loading up the bus for a special delivery. These mobile vaccine efforts were rolled out in Franklin Village affordable housing apartments. Well, in my predicament, feel good I ain't got to run around getting on buses and trying to go here and go there. Sitting on his front porch waiting to get his shot, Bernie Leftwich is disabled and homebound. He tells me trying to get an appointment in the past was nearly impossible. Yeah, waiting on the waiting list, getting the runaround. I said, oh yes, as soon as y'all get started, yeah, you coming to Franklin Village. <laughs> Cheryl Smith learned about the mobile effort about two weeks ago when WREL first covered its launch day. She tells me the need is great, so she immediately requested the mobile clinic to come to her neighborhood, and it did. They're making it easier so everyone can get this shot. So I I think that's awesome. So I hope people really take advantage of it. Members of Durham's War for Life organization are taking the on the ground approach to help close the vaccine gap by targeting pockets of underserved older adults, African-Americans, non-English speakers and the disabled. Not only is our community struggling in terms of access to COVID-19 vaccinations, but just in healthcare in general, and we want to really I began to change the relationship. About 20 long anticipated people in Franklin Village received a dose of the Pfizer vaccine, most from the comfort of their own home. So it's a good opportunity that they do come out to your house and help you out. We know that we're not going to hit 200, 300, 400 people at one time, but if we can vaccinate five people at a time, six people at a time, and eventually get our entire community vaccinated, then we will have done our job. Laura Levine, WRL News, Durham. Details on how to request the bus for your neighborhood can be found on WRAL.com. Thank you for listening and a little plug. You can listen to complete WRAL newscasts in podcast form. Subscribe to WRAL News Daily wherever you listen to podcasts. We post five newscasts each weekday and two on the weekends. You'll get all the news, weather, and sports you'd get on television, but in audio form. Just search WRAL News Daily. For the Coronavirus News Brief, I'm Mark Boyle.